Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Griffin and today I'm going to show you how to assign randomized IDs in Qualtrics. So this is where someone takes your Qualtrics survey and you want them to prove that they have completed their study with a random ID. This could be because you're using MTurk or Prolific or maybe one of your students is doing it. But we are doing this because we want the participants to prove that they have completed this Qualtrics survey and maybe we don't want to um, collect personally identifying information like their name or their email or some other ID. So I have my survey here and I want to know participants favorite dessert. So I have my survey consent. Do you agree to participate in this research? Yes or no. Then I ask them what is their favorite flavor of ice cream, chocolate, vanilla, mint, cookies and cream or other and they have to specify that. So how we do this we have to do two separate things the first thing we have to go into the back end of Qualtrics and we actually have to build the logic of that random ID that random number and then two we need to take that logic that we've built in survey builder or survey flow and then we need to show it in our actual survey so we need to go in the back end build the number generator and then we need to show the number generator so what I'm going to do I'm going to go to survey flow and I have my two blocks. I have my consent and I have my questions. So the ice cream question. And I need to go to add a new element here. Go to embedded data because we are putting in embedded data. So whenever anyone takes a survey, that random number will be embedded. And what am I going to name this? I'm going to name this random ID. Random ID. And then I'm going to click set a value now. And... I'm going to click on insert pipe text. So I hit this uh, down arrow, insert pipe text, and I'm going to select random number. And it, and I'm gonna keep it as an integer and I want it to be five digits. So I'm gonna go 10,000, one followed by four zeros, one, two, three, four. Then I'm going to do nine. So here, the random number is gonna be five digits. So it's gonna be between 10,000 and 99,999. And what this is going to do is when anyone takes my survey, it will show this random number. So I'm gonna hit insert, then I can click out of that. So I have my embedded data and it says random ID equals, and then it's this random number, which is an integer between 10,000 and 99,999. And this embedded data will be here in Qualtrics. However, we need this to be at the top of our survey flow. So when they immediately take the survey, it will, it will have that embedded data. So I'm going to hit move or I'm going to click move and I'm going to drag it to the top of our survey flow. Drag it to the top. So now this random ID, our embedded data is at the top and I'm going to hit apply. So now I have built that number generator. So I'm going to go into builder and I'm going to add a block or just simply add a question. And what this question is going to be is it can either be a text or graphic or sometimes I like doing multiple choice. Um, and I'm going to have it be one question. So I'm going to say, here is your random ID. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this insert pipe text. And remember, we had embedded data. Do not click this random ID. Do not click this, ran this random ID. I ran a study once where I accidentally clicked this random ID. And what it does is it generates a random ID, but it does not save it. So participants may input a random ID, but in the back end, it just keeps generating different random IDs. And you will not be able to match up people's responses with what they have. So what we did, we actually went in the back end and we said, hey, create a random ID, but you need to save it. So we did kind of use this random ID, but in the back end. So let's go to embedded data field. We can click this, this down arrow, this carrot, and we can click on random ID and insert. So now, oh, let's see. I don't think I clicked it. So we're gonna hit random ID and we're gonna insert it. So now our question says, here's your random ID. And it gives us this code, this dollar sign, open bracket E, you know, this embedded data. And what it's going to do is that is going to fill in with some random ID and it will save that. So it's very important when you use this pipe text, do not use random ID. It will not save it. So here's your random ID. And just to make sure that they don't leave this survey unfinished, I'm going to add this language. So um, did you copy and paste the code back into, let's say we're using prolific or canvas or MTurk. 
And then what is the question they're going to be answering? Yes. And we can also come in here and we can bold to make sure that they really know what their random ID is. So now if I preview my study, so let's go ahead and preview our study. Do this is a survey consent. Do you agree to participate in this research? Yes. Then it's going to take us to our ice cream question. My favorite flavor of ice cream is cookies and cream. I love cookies and cream ice cream. And now when we go into prolific, it's or into this Qualtrics, it says, here's your random ID, 44,016. Did you copy and paste this code back into prolific? Yes. All right, perfect. So I can exit that preview. What I'm going to do, I'm going to publish my survey. Let's go ahead and publish this. And I'm going to copy this link. And just for fun, I'm going to open up an incognito tab and make sure that it works. Assuming I'm someone who is taking the survey. Do you agree to participate in this research? My favorite flavor of ice cream is mint. All right, and the code gives me is 88,222. Did you copy and paste the code back into prolific? Yes, and then it gives us our um, confirmation. So I'm gonna exit out of here. So now I can go to uh, data and analysis or results, and I can see if it actually collected that number. Oh, and it looks like it's generating the results. So sometimes it takes a long time to generate the results. So I'm just going to export the data. I'm going to do it in CSV format, comma separated value. It's going to give us a CSV table. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Let's see, but it's making me extract it. I just want to do one simple thing and it's making me do all these extra <laughs> steps. Okay, so now when I go into our Excel file, I can see that this person has the random ID of 44,016 and their favorite flavor is cookies and cream. This person is 88,222 and their favorite flavor is mint. So when you are doing a study in Qualtrics or any other type of survey software, it's important that you follow the the procedures if you're with an institution like IRB, your human subjects committee, but ultimately you want to make sure that you can connect the responses with Qualtrics. So by using this in embedded data field and showing it in your survey, you will be able to get the ID. So to review, I wanted to create a random number generator um, and have it record and have people input that in MTurk or Prolific or Canvas. So what I did, I set embedded data field, I named it random ID, and I put in equals random number from 10,000 to 99,999. And then I went back into Survey Builder and I inserted this piped text. Good luck with your future research. Good luck with your future Qualtrics experience. You have a great day and happy learning.